So what is it? It's a management of the blunt abdominal trauma. Okay. So the third topic which we are going to talk about is the management of the blunt abdominal trauma. Now, what is this particular, you know, so like what you need to understand is that whenever you have a patient and the patient has basically come to you with the blunt abdominal abdominal trauma. Okay, so whenever you have a patient who has come to you with a blunt abdominal trauma, what is the first thing which you're going to do? Okay, so what is the first thing which you're going to do? The first thing which you basically do is you check for peritonitis. Okay, so you check for peritonitis. Okay, are you understand my point? So if at all this particular peritonitis is present or this particular peritonitis is absent. Okay. If the peritonitis is present, you don't need no other investigation. Straight away, you have to kind of go ahead with an exploratory laparotomy. Are you understand my point? So if at all there is a patient who is basically coming to you with a blunt abdominal trauma, you need no other investigation. Like if at all the patient is coming to you with a blunt abdominal trauma and the patients are basically having the signs of peritonitis, you need no other investigation. Straight away, you have to kind of go ahead with an exploratory laparotomy. Now, anybody can tell me what are the features of this particular peritonitis. So, let's say there is a patient who has come to you and on examination, the patient is basically having tenderness. Does it mean that the patient is having peritonitis? The answer is no. Okay. So, please try to understand the signs of the or the features of the peritonitis are what you call as a rigidity, rigidity and guarding. Okay, are you understand my point? So, what are the features of the peritonitis which we have? The features of the peritonitis are rigidity and guarding. Okay, if at all on the abdominal examination, if at all you have the rigidity and the guarding, this is what is referred to as the features of peritonitis. And if at all the features of peritonitis are present, then you basically go ahead and do an exploratory laparotomy. I hope you are able to understand this particular point, guys. Okay. That is a very, very basic thing which you need to understand. Now, coming to the actual management of the patients with the blunt abdominal trauma. Okay, so let's assume that there is a patient who is coming to you with a blunt abdominal, abdominal trauma. Okay, so as I told you that the first thing which you're going to do is you're going to look for features of peritonitis. If at all the features of peritonitis are not present. Okay, then what are you going to look for? Then you basically look for hemodynamic hemodynamic stability stability okay if at all there is a patient who is coming to you with a blunt abdominal trauma there is no features of peritonitis the second thing what we have to kind of look for is a hemodynamic stability now uh, let's assume that the patient like the hemodynamic stability is absent so when do you say that the patient is not hemodynamically stable if at all, the systolic blood pressure of the patient is less than 90 millimeters of mercury. Okay. If at all, the systolic blood pressure of the patient is less than 90 millimeters of mercury. This is when you say that, you know what, the patient's hemodynamic stability is absent. Are you understand my point? So when do you say that the patient's hemodynamic stability is absent? If at all, the systolic blood pressure of the patient is less than 90 millimeters of mercury. Okay. In this particular scenario, what are you going to do? The first investigation which you basically do over here is the FAST. What is FAST? We just talked about that focused assessment sonography for trauma. Okay. So we kind of uh, do a FAST. Okay. So we do this particular FAST. If at all, if at all this particular FAST is positive. Okay. If at all the FAST is positive, then you take the patients directly to an exploratory laparotomy. You need no other investigation. You don't need a CT scan. You take the patients for an exploratory laparotomy. It makes sense, right? Already the patient is imminently unstable. The fast is positive. It means that it is trying to tell you that there is some significant intra-abdominal injury which is present. And now you don't need any other investigation. You don't need a CT scan. Straight away, you have to kind of take this particular patient for an exploratory laparotomy. But if at all, the fast is equivocal. Okay. It is equivocal. Okay, if at all this particular fast is equivocal, then what are you going to do? You are going to perform a diagnostic peritoneal lavage. Okay, if at all the fast is equivocal, then you're going to perform this particular diagnostic peritoneal lavage. And if at all this diagnostic peritoneal lavage is positive, then you take the patients for an exploratory laboratory. 
I hope you are making like are you I hope you are able to understand this particular point. So blunt abdominal trauma. What is the for like first you check for the peritonitis. Okay, peritonitis is present or absent. If at all the peritonitis is present, no other investigation needed. Even fast is not needed. You straight away took the patients for an exploratory laparotomy. Now you uh, kind of uh, yeah so, okay that's fine. Uh, but if at all let's say the Peritonitis, peritonitis was not present, then you look for the hemodynamic stability. Hemodynamic stability is absent. It means that the systolic blood pressure of the patient is less than 90 millimoles of mercury. The first investigation which you did was the FAST. If at all the FAST is positive, you took the patients for an exploratory laparotomy. But if at all the FAST is equivocal, then you did a diagnostic parietal lavage. The diagnostic parietal lavage, if at all that was positive, then you took the patients for an exploratory laparotomy. I hope you have understood this point. Now, the hemodynamic stability, if at all, uh, let's assume that that is present. What do you understand by that is present? It basically means that the systolic blood pressure is more than 90 millimeters of mercury. So if at all, the systolic blood pressure is more than 90 millimeters of mercury. That is what you need to understand over here. Okay. Now, if at all, if at all, let's say the hemodynamic stability is present, then the first investigation which you're going to perform is the FAST. And then you're also going to perform a contrast enhanced CT scan. And based on the results of this, okay, based on the results of this, okay, so based on this, the physician is going to decide whether the patient is going to be taken for an exploratory laparotomy or the patient is going to be subjected to a conservative management okay so based on this whatever the treating physician is going to decide whether you have to take the patients for an exploratory laparotomy or you have to take the patients for a conservative management so based on that the question which is basically asked to you is that whenever you have a patient with a blunt abdominal trauma okay so whenever you have a patient with a blunt abdominal trauma you get two scenarios first is hemodynamic hemo dynamically unstable and hemo dynamically stable okay and then what you basically get is the first investigation and then you get an investigation of choice okay so these are the things which under these particular headings you have to kind of understand things okay so Whenever you have a things like this, what you need to understand is that if at all the patient is hemodynamically unstable, what is the first investigation I told you? I told you that the first investigation over here is going to be a fast. Okay, I've already told you that, that here it is going to be what you call as, uh, okay, so over here what you need to understand, the first investigation uh, is going to be fast. And what is going to be the investigation of choice over here? It is going to be FAST only because based on FAST only you decide whether the patients are going to be needed exploratory laparotomy or whatever. Okay. Now, if at all the patient is hemodynamically stable, the first investigation is going to be the FAST, but the investigation of choice is going to be the contrast enhanced CT scan of the abdomen. Okay. So over here, what you need to understand is that here, over here, it is going to be the contrast enhanced CT scan of the abdomen. I hope you are able to understand this particular point. So based on this, you have to kind of understand that these are the questions which can be asked.